wicket is continuing to evolve and now there are so many franchise competitions so you were recently picked up in the wbl draft so how was it being picked up in the draft by sydney sixers yeah it was a very surreal feeling i obviously put my name in and hoped for the best but wasn't expecting anything as there's so many quality cricket, cricketers that put their name in but um i got a text from uh, one of my managers and my dad um saying i'd been picked up and and it, it felt like a dream really to be able to play under Charlotte Edwards who's had so much success of late and um my sister's played under her and absolutely loves how she goes about her coaching and then also to be playing with Susie Bates who's one of my favorite teammates and and just the quality Aussie cricketers in that team too it was just yeah unbelievable so I'm so excited to be joining that group and again um I think we know that the big bash has such a great um standard of cricket so I think it's a really great chance for me to develop my game and and learn off not just the international players but the dom- domestic players too so yeah I'm really looking forward to it so how tough is it to bowl in australia you have played in the big bash before as well uh, for the brisbane team so how difficult is it to play in those conditions yeah australia produce very good rip, uh, wickets so um often it's probably benefiting the batters but i think uh with with anything with cricket it's what can you do yourself to you know to help the team so yes the wickets might be be good or the boundaries are small or what not but it's sort of foc- I try and focus on my own game and what I can do to put the team in a better position um I've bowled in Australia a few times and yeah I I quite like it if the ball's swinging it's it's great and there'll be a few games under lights which will be which will be good too but yeah I sort of go back to my own game rather than worrying about how good the wicket is for the batters and uh in sort of freaking out about that is there any specific plans you have made for to to bowl in the WBBL uh not yet i think it's just sort of sticking to my strengths it's pretty basic um game plan really swinging the ball in and i've got my lead cutter at different times and and then from there you sort of adapt close to the time with what the pitch is doing and conditions and different batters and in their strengths and what not so um but yeah usually i'm always looking to swing the ball in and attack the stumps so you have already played in the 100 for london spirit and wbl obviously you have played and you have been playing in the super smash uh, so how do you look at the evolution of tater day franchise cricket yeah i think it's it's incredible the, the the growth of the women's game especially these t20 leagues it's almost um hard to play in all of them now for for some of these girls and um it definitely is improving the quality of cricket and the international game and i think the players that do go off and play leagues it then strengthens your your national sort of um franchise sort of cricket as well so yeah it's it's really awesome and i'm i've been fortunate enough to to have um traveled to England and in Australia and and trained with people from different countries and see how they go about their business but um yeah i think the games just getting bigger and bigger especially now with the um women's IPL um you know the 100 the big bash it's it's really exciting and um yeah every each and every country and and players are just getting better and better so it's how can you sort of um go with the game as well and keep improving yourself So you have also played in that uh, fair break uh, Tito Day league. So how different is that from other franchise leagues? Yeah, it's a very different league, but I absolutely loved my time there. Um I think just the the way it brought associate nations in with with countries like New Zealand, Australia, England, South Africa, etc. was really special and um it, you didn't just sort of associate yourself with your team. It was um you're all there for the love of the game of cricket and you're there to help each other and and things like that so it was really special to to be a part of that and yeah I loved my time there and I was I was opening the bowling for for my team and I was certainly bowling to some quality international cricketers and and there were also some some gem cricketers and in the associate nations too that we probably wouldn't have known about without this tournament so i think um having having that 
come about is really special and um, you know the likes of Mahika Gore and and all that it's great for them to have um, tournaments like that to to play in.